Hello, guys. Oops. Welcome. Sorry, the lighting is a little harsh. <laughs> um, let me just get this set up. How's everyone doing today? Let me see. Make this a little bit less harsh. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit better. How's everyone doing on this hump day? Feels like a really long week. I don't know if everyone else has been feeling that, but it's been a crazy, crazy week. Okay, well, I'm super excited to come on here today and share some of my favorite things. Um, I did a big haul. And yeah, I just want to share some of them with you guys. Alrighty. Okay. What I want to share first is this really lovely candle from the Night Space Candle Collection. It's the Forest Gift Collection. Um, let me see. see, I've already used two of these. This is the last one I have. They all, um, you get a set of three in this collection. Um, and there's like one with a green top, a brown, like a copper colored top, and then this white top. And they're, sorry, the lighting is crazy, but they're really, really lovely. Like they smell so good for one. It's almost you know, the, the description, oh, this just says white, so, yeah, it doesn't say the exact smell, but it's lovely. I've probably burned it for five hours, and this is how low it's gotten, so really good burn time, um, and something that I've noticed about it, <clears throat> I don't know if this was like part of the design and that's why it has the hole on top, but um, it's actually really nice once you, you know, let you, the, you kill the flame, it took me a second there. Once you blow out the, uh, the flame, you put this on, it smokes through it and it almost just like diminishes it more. It's almost like a safety precaution. Um, but um, this is really, really nice. And I've really, really been enjoying these. I think just based on the burn time, the price of $120 is actually really fair since, you know, it's 40 bucks each and these candles are burning. I, I don't think it says on here, but I'm guessing this is like a 40, 40 hour burn or something like that. Cause there's been barely any it's barely gone down at all. Um, and I've used it a long time. So I appreciate that when I, you know, get candles, because to be honest, there's nothing worse than getting a candle and you burn it for one night and it's almost done. I like absolutely hate that. Like as much as I love the Trader Joe's candles, there's probably nothing worse than getting one of their candles and then it's like gone in one night. Like, if I'm going to spend the money, I sort of want it to <laughs> last a while. So that's been really nice. Um, <clears throat> okay, something I'm actually really excited about. So I, before I turn over, I've been doing this challenge called the 75 hard. But I'm honestly doing like a 75 soft because I'm not out here trying to kill myself. I'm just trying to like reset myself and like move more. Um, like I'm going to go on a walk after this, um, just because I don't know about you guys, but I was just feeling like not the best before the new year in general. It's just a hard time if you know it. Oh my God. Does he really? Okay. But he's probably doing the real 75 hard. I'm doing like a soft, but you know what? I'm not here to make myself feel bad. I'm at least trying, um, <laughs> but something Someone is like jumping in my apartment complex. But so this is um, a product that I've been using. This is my second box. 
And it's by this company. I guess it's just called BusyCo. But um, there are these really awesome wipes called Refresh This Mess. I'm just, like, here for the terms. But what I like about these... Um, so I have, like, acne-prone skin. And, like, I'm not the type of person who can work out and then go like do things like I can't work out and then go meet up with a friend for coffee like that's just like the death of my skin like can promise you I'll have like body acne like face acne after that like so doing this challenge is like a huge it's tough because I'm like moving all the time and I honestly cannot shower showering twice a day is way too much like no one has time for that that's like not good for the environment so I saw these on Berry Shop and I was like I'll give these a try I saw someone I really like her name's JC Marie Smith use these and I was like I'll give it a try um these are really nice like I will tell you like it's hard it's for me to shower to not shower like I'm trying to get used to using a product like this and then just like going about my day but these are wipes that you use post workout post any kind of sweaty thing um I would open one up but I don't want to waste one (laughs) to be honest because they're like precious to me now but they're pretty big you can wipe almost your entire body with it I'll usually wipe like my face and then my neck um like my chest my shoulders my underarms um And it's really nice because they're pH balanced, so they don't, like, set you off, like, in your armpits and things like that. Because um, even, like, wiping my face, if something isn't pH balanced, it just, like, gets my skin all out of whack. So these have been really, really nice. And they have a bunch of different, like, products that I've been looking at on Berry Shop that I'm, like, very tempted to buy. Um, and yeah, so these are their deodorant wipe, cleanse and deodorize, no rinse required. It has prebiotics, zinc, and probiotics. Um, just like looking at all these, like, oh my God, it's so interesting. I didn't even know these had probiotics. Um, but yeah, just so far I've gone through 15. This is my second box. Um, I started using these like on day three of the 75 hard. And it's been going good. Um, Haven't been breaking up so much. I wonder, you know, if you do the 75 hard, it's such a, what to say about it? It is a challenge, very hard challenge um, mentally. So, um, yeah, these have been nice just to, like, throw a couple in my car, um, in my purse, um, things like that. And they've been very, very nice. Love these guys. Um... All right, moving on to, gosh, 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 what to say about, what to say about these. Um, The By Natch eye cream, oh my god, I don't know if you guys have this, like, battle with eye cream, but I do. Um, I feel like I used to buy eye cream all the time, and... Then I went through a phase where everyone I read online, you don't need to buy it. Like, it's the same thing as moisturizer. Like, don't waste your money. And now I'm back to the side of just, like, indulging and and absolutely loving eye cream. (laughs) Um, So I I first started to use – sorry, it looks sort of dirty because I've been using it. But so I first found this company with their sleeping balm, which I absolutely love. I've talked about it before. Um, It's amazing. It's a balm that you put on before you go to bed on all your, like, like your temples, like, your wrist, the bottom of your feet. Um, And it's really, really nice. I use that with, like, CBD and chef's kiss. Not (laughs) chef's kiss. (laughs) Um, But so I was looking on Very Shop at this company by Natch, and I saw their eye cream, and I looked at the reviews, because I'm a huge person on reviews, and I started using this eye cream. It is so nice. It feels like, 
no, I did that to myself and then to no one else. It's like silky smooth. It's so nice. Like, oh my God, it's so nice. I, this lighting does not help me. Um, like the, no matter how far back I get, I just keep getting in the light, but it's just, it feels like silk. Oh, it's so nice. Um, there's no smell, which I actually really appreciate. Like I'm not out here trying to have everything scented and have like 10 cents on my face. Like I love that this is just like straight up, like nice, like silky smooth eye cream. It feels like sometimes, you know, when eye cream is so heavy around your eyes, like it can sort of bother me, especially when I'm going to bed. Um, but this is really nice just because it feels like it's meant for that really sensitive area of your skin. Um, I'm a photographer and videographer and I work with makeup artists a lot. And one of my favorite makeup artists, his name's Patrick Santa Anna, and he recommends this as well. And if he recommends it as a skin God, you know, it's good. So absolutely love this. Um, the Luminary Genius Eye Cream. And this retails for $150, and I see why. Um, it reminds me almost of the La Mer. Um, the La, it almost reminds me of the La Mer like, lip balm. Um, or I don't know if we call it lip balm. Um, mixed with like their eye cream with like the spoon. Like if I get a little spoon, I should really genuinely like get just like treat myself to one of those kinds of experiences um so i honestly like guilty pleasure i'm like buying eye cream now i'm just like back on that train um and you know what we're not judging here it's a no judgment zone so yeah love this guy um okay the next thing, I just want to quickly mention this, guys. I'm going to come back on and do a review in maybe like two or three weeks. But I got the Decollete Firming Cream from them as well because I'm just out here living my best life, I guess. You can see I surf, so you know it's bad. You know it's bad. Sun, not good. Constantly fighting what I do out here. Um, so I will come back in two or three weeks after I use this, like maybe like four or five times a week. I think that's what it says. Hold on five seconds. Give me five seconds. Five, four, three. Okay. You can use it every day. Maybe I'll use it like four or five times a week and I'll come back on and give a review. Um, sometimes I see people on here giving reviews about stuff they've used like one time and I'm like, I need to know like in a month, I need to know after like, you know, the hype, your adrenaline is gone. I need to know that time. So um, I'll come back on and give you a, re a review about that. As you can tell from like my product so far, um, you know, I turned 30 this year and I'm just out here like, and I have combo skin. Um, I really like put my skin through the ringer honestly, like I go in the sun, I like, I'm on a computer screen like the rest of us all day long. Like, it's just, you know, I'm just trying to like treat my skin better as time goes on. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm doing the 75 hard challenge. Let's just take a moment for myself. Um, and it's really tough. Um, so, but what I'm trying to say is I'm just trying to like pick products that hopefully like not prevent, but just like treat and like maintain how I'm, my skin is and how I'm feeling. Um, I'm really just trying to like feel good with things I do now. Um, why is it that every time I go on live, it turns into like a journal entry, you know, like this, if you agree. Um, it's like very dramatic. Okay. All right, next up, oops, I did not mean to do that, y'all, oh my god, did I not, okay, sorry, you guys are like, blink twice if you're okay, 
Okay. Next thing I wanted to show you is this stunning queen. Say hi to her. Oh my God, she's so pretty. Um, you guys are like, okay. This is like my haul of like 30, like 13 going on 30. It took me a second. Um, but this is this really pretty platter um, serving dish that I got. Um, it's from Casafina. Um, I don't, does it say? Anything? Yeah, Casafina. Um, so this is, after, I've used this one time with friends over and you can dishwash it. Um, you can put in the dishwasher and in the oven, which is like major to me. Um, I had a bunch of really cute, like serving, like serving dishes, trays, um, that I got from a local store where I live in San Clemente. And of course I dropped them. They were like not sturdy. They just broke. And then I had like a weird set. And I've sort of got, gotten to this, like, age where I'm, like, I just want to, like, have a cute dinner party. Like, I'm not even trying to make this, like, aesthetic. I'm just trying to, like, have friends over and, like, not serve it in the pan. It's not serve it in the pot, you know? Um, and I got this, and I just thought it was really pretty because I think it would be sort of timeless. Um, like, I don't think I'll ever get tired of this. It's just, like, an oval cream-colored dish it's obviously really big and pretty deep enough to me I don't want it really deep like this is perfect depth to me um and it looks great I think um I'd like to have a few more that were that are maybe like a different size like or a different shape just so you know I don't really want one of this this is like the biggest one I have now I think I'd like to like change it up and get some different sizes. Um, and that's on a shopping problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, so love this guy. Um, I'm definitely going to upload like photos. Sometime I'll try and take a photo. I just used it the other night and like devoured my food. And then, you know, if you have friends over, no one wants to like, no one wants the hostess that's like taking photos. Like they're like, Let's eat, let's drink, let's, we're in real time here. So, um, yeah, it's been really, really nice. Um, the next thing I'll show you guys, um, it's sort of funny showing these right now because I got these dishcloths and immediately put it on my um, oven door handle. So I've been using it the whole time. So it's sort of funny, like, taking it off right now and showing you guys because it's like 100% dirty um <laughs> but you can't really tell because it's dark um but these are nice I I feel like dishcloths for me just get wrecked for some reason um and so I really just needed some like staple ones that like I know I'm red right now you guys but the rest of the room isn't that just like go with everything in my house, like, this goes with what you see here, you know? Um, so, ooh, hold on. <laughs> um, these go with everything, and they're really, really nice, and um, they're, like, a pretty thick, thick material, actually. Like, they're, they're thin, but it's, like, a thick weave, if you know what I'm saying. Um, like, I can feel it, but it's very nice. Um, I think now that I'm like buying new home stuff and like trying to be an adult, um, trying is the word, I really just need to like make sure that these stay nice. I don't know why dishcloths get just like absolutely destroyed. Um, maybe I'm a messy chef. I call myself a chef now. Um, but yeah, so these have been nice. There's it comes in a set of two. Um, I think 16 bucks. it's on sale right now for $12 is completely fair. The ones I had before were ones from like Ikea and they were just like, you know, like they're gone now. We don't know who they are anymore. So um, these were really nice. 
Um, so far, I just want to mention out of all the things I have like shown, um, I definitely just want to like call out one more time that this like lovely bougie ass eye cream. Um, as I was saying earlier, it reminds me almost of the La Mer eye cream, the one with the little spatula. I honestly may go find like a little spatula on Amazon or a local store. I don't know where I'll find that just to give myself that experience, if you know what I mean. Um, but it's, I've, you know, I have sensitive eyes, not, you know, I don't know why you'd know that, but I do have sensitive eyes. And what I like about this is instead of it being like very heavy, Oh my god, I literally just like blinked out because it's like so relaxing. Um, this light almost doesn't help me because I can't tell what my screen looks like. But um, it's really silky. Um, I'd say it's like meat, like light, medium weight. Um, very, very silky. Um, once it's absorbed, I like it because it just it still feels silky. I don't know. I feel like I'm such a skincare, like, obsessed. I'm skincare obsessed, especially turning 30 this year and just trying to, like, keep up with, like, the things I, like, put my skin through. As I've said, surfing is gnarly on your – just does nothing good for your skin, you know? Um, so I like that this doesn't bother my skin. I'm combo – I have combination skin, definitely oily in my T-zone. Um, and this is just doesn't bother me at all. I appreciate that there's no scent. Like, sometimes we don't need scents. You know what I mean? Like, why does everything have a smell, like, good? Like, why does I, why do I have, t why I have 10 smells on my face, you know? We don't need that. Um, okay. Anyways... All right, next thing I will show you guys is the Tucker jacket in green. So I got this for my boyfriend. Um, and the next two things I got for him and the next two things are things I use and steal from him. Because, because, you know. Okay, let me show you. All right, so this is the Tucker green jacket. This is the size extra large, and it definitely is exactly the fit I want. <laughs> um, I feel like it's so cute. Um, I'm trying to think of what material this feels like. It's but it's like the thickness between like it's lighter than a jean jacket, that's for sure. I wish I could see the actual like, details of this because I just, we just use it and wear it. But um, it's actually pretty thick. Like I'd be comfortable going out wearing this and not anything else. Um, <clears throat> and it's getting too dark in here, guys. Should I just open up these blinds? Hold on. Okay, here we go. Wow, can't see. Hope you, I'm red. The sun is beautiful, but like, wow, just blinding myself. Um, <clears throat> but I love this jacket. It's super cute. Like, I like the oversized fit personally, I'm like wearing these with like biker shorts, like a crop top like I am right now, um, or like leggings, like, <clears throat> um, like thick platform shoes, that kind of a vibe. Um, but this actually just fits my boyfriend like normally. He's six foot. This is an extra large and it fits him normally. But for me, I like this fit. I think it's just like cute, cute boyfriend fit. Um, yeah, so this is, it's like a very, um, warm dark green it's coming across like pretty bright on the screen probably because everything is bright on the screen right now <laughs> um but it's it's like a warm deep green um pretty 
pretty true to color from the photo. Um, it's retailing, right? Oh, so it retails for one ten, but it's on sale right now for thirty three ninety two. That's like shocking for how good quality that great of quality this is. Um, just some like random details on it. Um, I love how I love how the sleeves have these nice like little. De I don't know. Sometimes I'm like maybe because I work with like apparel I'm just noticing this maybe because I'm live streaming I'm just like hyper sensitive whatever the reason is I'm just like the details on this are cute yeah this is it um okay I'll show you the next thing all right the next thing is oh I didn't change it is my favorite thing the kimono okay so I got this for my boyfriend and although he's very cute in it like come on guys this is like the best like after shower like thrown around the house like this thing is just so cute. Like, even with what I'm wearing, I don't know. Is it just me? Am I just, like, getting crazy? Or is this really cute? <laughs> um, so this is a... Let me see. This is an extra large, too. So both the last two items are extra larges. Um, just for reference, I'm 5'8 and, like, 145. So... That's how an extra large fits um, my size. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I sort of like having like fun little items like this. The older I get, the more I like robes and like sarongs and things like that. Like I finally see the appeal and I'm like trying to step into that level um, post shower instead of just like running and putting on clothes while I'm still like wet but that's a whole other that's a whole other story that you all understand but um this is really light I will say that so it retails for 84 and it's on sale for 15 um I would say this is like a steal um I would probably say size up in this um because I actually feel like this isn't that that big for an extra large I don't know. That's my opinion. Yeah, I would size up actually, depending on the fit you want. Um, I'm normally a medium, small medium, and this I feel like fits just right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I think so. This is men's, but it's like it, you know, that never matters to me if it's men's or women's. Um, but yeah, okay, so I just want to go over, I've already gone over one of my favorite things. I just want to go over one more of my favorite items that has just been in my rotation lately. Um, and that, oops, okay, and that is these amazing Get the Funk Out of Here wipes. So the reason I want to bring this up is because, as I said earlier in the live stream, I'm doing the 75 heart challenge. Has anyone on here done it? Send me a heart. The heart means good luck. I'm with you. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so the 75 heart challenge is basically I'm like working out or like moving two times a day. There's a bunch of other things that it involves as well but I'm basically just trying to take I feel like I'm doing like a 75 soft I'm just trying to like move my body more um and like get my mind right but the reason I wanted to highlight these again was because these this is my second pack these are from a company called busy and these are really awesome um you know I can't be showering like two times a day honestly like that's absurd I don't know for me, that's not what I want to be doing. 
um, unless I have to. And these have been really, really nice. So they're, they open up pretty big. You can wipe your entire body with this and, um, they're nice. The reason I like them the most, I think though, is because they're pH balanced. So for people like me, you have, you break out, you know, you, you don't break out from this, like a makeup wipe. If I wipe my face with a makeup wipe and do nothing else, I will break out. Um, but with these, I really don't. So I've been trying these for like two weeks and have completely, I don't know. I've just like gotten, they're now like just in my purse, in my car. Um, they're just like in the rotation. So I wanted to mention that. Um, like I said, next week I'll be doing a review on, no, not next week, maybe in two weeks. I'll do a review on how I liked this decollete, decolletage, um, decollete, decollete, um, cream. We'll see. Um, I want to give it a good shot before I come back and talk about this. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have a lovely night. Hump day is both the best and the worst day. We're almost there, but it's like, we're still not there. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for joining. Hope you, sh you had a laugh. You learned something. Maybe you didn't. Um, but yeah, thank you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.